In this lecture, we are going to learn how to use built-in pipes provided by Nest.js with a couple of examples. And with that, we will understand how pipes actually transform the incoming request data before the request reaches the controller. So there are total nine built-in pipes that is offered by Nest.js. And out of these nine built-in pipes, we will talk about this validation pipe later because this pipe is used when we want to create our own custom pipe and pass validation logic to that custom pipe. But apart from this validation pipe, there are other eight built-in pipes that can be directly used with your route parameters or with the query strings. So in this lecture, we are going to make use of this pass int pipe and default value pipe. This pass int pipe converts a value to integer type. And if that value cannot be converted to integer type, it throws an exception with an error message, bad request. Then just like pass int pipe, we also have pass float pipe, which converts a value to floating point type, pass bool pipe, which converts a value to boolean type, pass array pipe, which converts a value to array type and so on. So once we understand how this pass int pipe and this default value pipe works, understanding other built in pipes will be very easy because they work in the same way. Now, in order to use these built-in pipes, first you need to import them from nest.js slash common package. So let's understand the use of couple of these built-in pipes. We'll understand the use of pass int pipe and default value pipe. And let's start with pass int pipe. So let's go to VS code. And there I'm in the user controller. So in the user controller, I have this get controller method this get user by ID method. And this method is called when the URL is root URL slash user slash 101. So when we specify a value for this ID parameter, and when we are making a get request, this get user by ID method will be called and it will be executed. Now in this get user by ID method, what we are doing is we are using the ID route parameter value. So using this param decorator on this ID, we are reading the value of the ID route parameter and we are assigning that value to this ID parameter of this get user by ID method. Now, when we are reading the value of this ID route parameter, it will be read as a string. And inside this method, what we are doing is we are calling the get user by ID method of user service. And in that method, this get user by ID method of this user service, there we are expecting an ID, a user ID, which should be a numeric value. So when we are calling this method, we are converting that ID value from the route parameter to a number type using this plus sign. But what we can also do is before the request reaches this controller method, before that we can use a pipe which will convert this ID route parameter value from string to number. And to do that, what we can do is to this param decorator, as a second argument, we can pass this pass int pipe. So let's go back to VS code. And in order to use the pass int pipe, first we need to import it from nest.js slash common. And then let's go ahead and let's pass it as the second argument to this param decorator. So now what it will do is this param decorator, it will read the value of this ID route parameter. And on that, since we are using this pass int pipe, it will convert that value to number type to integer type. And then that integer value will be assigned to this ID parameter of this get user by ID method. So now here we don't need to convert it to number type anymore. Because now the ID value which we will get, it will be already a number value. And to prove that, let me go ahead and let me write a console.log statement here. And there I am going to log the type of id so for that i'm going to use type of and i want to log the type of id and then i'm also going to log the value of id parameter let's save the changes here let's go to command prompt the application has been recompiled let's go to postman and from there let me specify the id as maybe two okay so when i make a request here it should return us that user whose ID is two. And here we should be making a get request. 
so we have received that user in the response now if i go back to command prompt there you will see that the type of id is number and its value is two so in this way when we are reading the value of this id route parameter before we are sending the request to the controller before that we are converting the type of that id route parameter from string to number okay so let me go ahead and let me remove this console.log statement from here and let's save the changes then in the same way we also have this get users method which is going to return us all the users from the database currently we are not using any database currently we are using in memory list of users so currently we have these three users and this is what we are sending it in the response but what we want is when the user makes a request to this url to get all the users there we also want to implement pagination so when the first request will come we only want to show let's say 10 records in the first page then in the second page we will show next 10 records in the third page we will show the next 10 records so we want to implement pagination and we also want to give user to configure how many records does he want to see in a single page okay so for that what i want is when a user will make a request to this get users controller method basically when a user will make a get request to this url to root url slash users this one there if the user does not provide an id in that case we want to call this controller method this get users method which is going to return us all the users and there we also want the client to specify the limit so let's say limit is going to be 10 and the page so for now let's set the page to 1 so this simply means that when we are making a request to this url we want to get all the users and we want to display only 10 users in page 1 then if the limit is 10 and page is 2 we want to display another 10 users in page 2 then if let's say the limit is 30 and page is 3 then we want to display 30 users in page 3 okay so first of all this limit and this page should also be a numeric value okay so the first thing which we are going to do is here we are going to apply parse and pipe on the page and the limit query string so here i'm going to select the query string using its name so we are going to have a limit query string i'm going to select that and i want to assign it to this limit parameter and when we will read the value of this limit query string it will be read as string but i want to convert it to number type so for that again i'm going to use parse int pipe to convert that value to number type okay and now we know that this limit will be of type number so let's set its type as number and here also we know that this id is going to be of number type so let's set its type as number all right then i'm also going to read the page query string so again i'm going to use this query decorator there i'll specify what query string i want to read i want to read the page query string and when we will read the value of this page query string it will be read as a string value so i want to convert it to number type for that i'm going to use parse int pipe so basically i want to convert that page number to a integer value and then we are going to assign that value to let's say this page parameter and we can also set its type as number because we know that inside this page we are going to receive a number value all right and before that let me also show you what will happen if we pass a value for this id parameter which cannot be converted to a number type so let's also see that but before that let me remove this if statement because now i'm not going to take any gender query parameter so we don't need to write this logic okay and in order to make things readable i'll move these things into separate line okay let's save the changes here let's go to postman and for now let me remove this and i'm going to make a call to root url slash user slash id of the user and for the id let me pass abc now when i make a request this abc this is a string value which cannot be converted to number type so in our code when this parse pipe will try to convert that abc to string type 
since this pipe will not be able to convert it to an integer value it is going to throw us an error and in that error the error message will be bad request let's actually see that so let's go ahead and let's make that request and you see here we have this error bad request and the status code is 400 because here the data which we are passing it is not a valid data it cannot be converted to number type so that's why we have this status code 400 for bad request so this is what i wanted to show you but if i pass a value which can be converted to a number type for example 100 and if i click on the send button we don't have anything in the response because we don't have any user whose id is 100 but at least we are not getting any error you can see that the status code is 200 okay now let's check for the query strings so here i am setting the limit to 30 and page to 3 and let's go back to our vs code and there what i'm going to do is before we return the response i am going to log limit and page so let me log limit and then let's also log page uh, all right not here let me cut this statement from here let's do it here okay with this let's save the changes let's check if the application has been recompiled or not so the application is recompiled let's go to postman let's make this request okay and here we have a bad request why is that that's because here it should be question mark and not slash okay let's send the request again so we are getting all the users so we're getting the response properly now if i go to command prompt there you will see that the value of limit is 30 and the value of page is 3 and they have been logged as a numeric value okay so this parse int this pipe is converting the value of these query strings to number type by default these value will be read as string value but using this parse and pipe we are converting to number type now what if the user does not specify this limit and page query string in that case what we want is if the user has not specified the value for limit query string and page query string we want to set a default value for limit and page and to set a default value for these query strings what we can do is we can specify another pipe and this time we want to use this default value pipe so in order to use it first of all we need to import it from nestjs slash common and then let's use it for this limit query string so we want to set a default value for this let's say the default value for limit should be 10 and here we have an error and it says value of type type of default value pipe is not callable that's because before this we need to use new keyword okay so here basically we are calling the constructor of this default value pipe and using that we are setting the default value for this limit query string to 10 in the same way let's also go ahead and let's set the default value for page query string to 1 so if the user has not specified a value for the page query string then by default it will be 1 and we will display the first page with 10 users in the list okay with this let's save the changes again let's go back to postman and from there again i'm going to make a request to this url but this time i'm not going to specify any query parameters if i click on the send button it should properly send the request but for some reason we have this error and that might be because see first what we are trying to do is we are trying to use this pass int pipe and then only we are setting a default value so the order in which we have specified these pipes it will be executed in the same order so first the pass int pipe will try to execute and it will try to convert the value of this limit query string to an integer type but since we have not specified any limit query string here the value which we will receive for this limit query string will be undefined and that cannot be converted to integer type so what we will do is before we try to convert the value of this limit query string to integer type if the value of limit query string is not provided first we will set a default value for that so i'll cut this default pipe from here and let's add it before the parsint pipe 
and let's do the same thing for page also so i'll cut it from here and let's first set a default value for the page if the value for the page query string is not supplied and then let's do the pass int okay with this let's save the changes again let's go to postman and let's make a request again and this time we don't have any error okay and if we go back you will see that the default value for limit and page has been set here so in this way we can also use other built-in pipes for example this parse float parse bool parse array etc now when we use this default value pipe with that we had to use the new keyword and that we need to do only with this default value pipe and this validation pipe rest other pipes we can use in the same way how we have used this parse int pipe there is no need to use any new keyword before that so in this lecture we learned how to validate or transform the data using the built-in pipes which is coming with the request through query string or the route parameter now in the next lectures let's learn what is a dto how to create a dto and how to create our own custom pipe for validating or transforming the incoming data from the request